me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, didn't see you there. Hello, my HQTs, Jedi Knights, Jawas, Droids, Wookiees, Sith, Huts, and can't forget my Sam people. Welcome to the 100, the Star Wars edition. I can tell the Force is strong with you lot, and tonight we are going to separate the Yodas from the Jar Jar Binkses. Which one are you? We may play a few Jedi mind tricks, of course, but it's your job to make the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. Can you do it? This evening, I will keep asking questions until 100 of you or fewer remain in the game, and then you will split a hefty chunk of change. That's right. My name is Princess Shazza Organa, rebel scum and proud of it. Here I am with my bro, Luke. See, we're twinsies. Now this is HQ Trivia, where in this galaxy far, far away, you could have a bunch of currency coming your way. And the rules here are simple. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions from young Anakin to Darth Vader. You've got 10 old seconds to tap that answer. Get it correct, you move on. I'm gonna keep on going until there are only 100 left in the Rebel Alliance. They will then split the cash prize. Do you have an extra life stashed with your lightsaber? It can help you win this evening. You can use one in this game, but not up to round 15, so choose wisely. And if you play close by two friends, you will get a free eraser. Now, tonight, we are giving away a stormtrooping 1,000 pounds. You heard right, 1,000 pounds, that's enough to Skywalker on your haters, grab some drinks with your mates at a wretched hive of scum and villainy, my kind of party, or freeze yourself in carbonite because it is winter, you know. All right, time to get your head out of your cockpit. Let's get down to the quizzing and may the force be with you. Here we go with Q1. Which of these is the Wookiee homeworld? Cash Savers, Kashyyyk, Kashmir. Where would you find the big walking carpets? Including Chewy. They would make super warm sweaters, but Wookiees don't come from Kashmir. Rocking more wise than a six-year-old. Kashyyyk is where you find the Wookiees. 46,000 of you hoping to cash in tonight. That was kind of brutalish right there. We lost almost 10,000 of you already on Q1, but we are heading to Q2. What is Kylo Ren's birth name? Brian Stormtrooper, Barry Skywalker, Ben Solo. Yeah, he switched it up for something a bit more evil. But what was he born with? He may be Darth Vader's grandson, but Kylo is not a Skywalker born to go it alone. His real name is Ben Solo, Han Solo's kid, of course, and mine as well, because Han and I, you know, we got together. 42,000 of you were born to wield lightsabers. Well done to you. Now, on Thursday, we are bringing you Bond, James Bond, the 007 theme quiz. Get out the tuxedo for that one and get ready to be shaken and not stirred. Going to be a lot of fun. This one might shake you up, though. It's Q3. On which planet was Anakin Skywalker discovered as a slave? Tath, Tarkadana, Tatooine. You lot gave that young Anakin such a hard time. Poor thing. If you went for Tath, then you've just made a right meth of this one. The sandiest of starting points. Tatooine, where we first saw Luke as well. It was love at first sight back then. 36,000. If you're hopping on your land speeders to the next round, we're here at Q4 already. Which forest moon is home to the Ewoks? Endor, Yavin 4, Jeddah. I like those Ewoks. They've got a lot of spunk, those creatures have. Cuddly as well. Three legendary lunars, but which one is totally overwhelmed with teddy bears? The Empire may have started in the Senate, but it ended on Endor. Endor is the correct answer. And it's over for a few of you there, but 32,000 of you have only just begun. We're hitting Q5 right now. Who captained the Millennium Falcon before Han Solo? Wes Jansen, Lando Calrissian, Wedge Antilles. What a piece of junk. Why does everyone keep calling it that? It's fast though, it's fast, that's what counts. Three legendary pilots, but who flew the Falcon before Han did? Gutless backstabber turned badass is this guy. You got a lot of guts coming here after what you pulled. 
That's right, Lando. Calrissian, we like Lando, don't we? 31,000 of you Landoing on the correct answer there. Han may have won the ship in a high stakes card game, but Lando did get to fly again during Return of the Jedi. Reunited and it felt so good. So does this, Q6. Which of these movies is episode six? Attack of the Clones, The Force Awakens, Return of the Jedi. Do the maths quickly. If you're a true Star Wars fan, you can figure this one out. Let's see who is. The whole series started in the middle, but which of these is Star Wars number six, making quite the comeback. It's Return of the Jedi. It was almost called Revenge of the Jedi. 26,000 of you returning for the next round. Lost about 5,000 of you there. Now the Force woke up again in episode seven, while Attack of the Clones is number two through and through for good reason. Yeah, indeed. All right, it's shout out time, everyone. Helen Boyle is playing to win if the Force wills it. Ted is playing along and knows the height of every Star Wars character, apparently. Pity that's not a question tonight, though. Wasted knowledge. Josie knows nothing about the movies, but is playing anyway. Good sport. Hopefully, you're still in. Sue Patrick and Bella are here. Daryl asked me to shout out Peter Mayhew and Jake Lloyd, saying they're huge fans. No, they're not. They're the actors. Stop trolling me. Good luck to all of you players. Of course, the Force is with you as we hit Q7. In A New Hope, what does Luke call R5-D4? Red, green, blue. Not to be confused with the other R, right? R2-D2. He only owned the droid for like 20 seconds, but what did Luke call the little guy? This is the droid you're looking for. It's red. Come on, red. Let's go, 20,000 off you doing the robot right now. Well done to you. Now R5 was the droid that Luke initially bought from the Jawas, if you remember, but a malfunction led him settling for R2-D2 instead. The best move he ever made, that's for sure. Q8, in Solo, a Star Wars story, who is first introduced as the Beast? Yoda, Darth Vader, Chewbacca. The Beast. So who's the beauty? I guess it's Han Solo. He is pretty good looking, isn't he? He's the one I'd least like to fight, but not the Beast Master Yoda is. The big walking carpet himself is Chewie. Chewbacca, you chewed that one up and spat it out. 20,666 of you. Han is thrown in a pit with fellow troublemaker, the Beast, in one of the biggest mistakes the Empire ever made. They were unstoppable after that. It's Q9. Blue milk comes from which of these creatures? Rafters, Banthers, Huts. Mmm, delicious. Blue milk, raspberry flavor. Not. No, thank you. I'll pass on the blue milk. Luke can't get enough of it in A New Hope, but who's churning out the blue stuff? The mammoths of the desert with those sand people on them. Comes from Banthers. You milk the Banthers for that blue milk. 14,984 of your milk in this game for everything you have. Nobody has survived long enough to try and milk a wrath tar, and the less said about Jabba Juice, the better. Gross. Q10. Which of these monsters does not feature in the Empire Strikes Back? Space Slug, Sarlacc, Wampa. I wouldn't want to come face to face with any of them, to be honest. It's scary enough watching them. A trio of very hungry beasts, but who doesn't get to dine until Return of the Jedi? Digesting you over a thousand years of pain and suffering is the toothy sandpit Sarlacc. You're digging your teeth into that juicy morsel, aren't you? That was a brutal one. 6,000 if you're down, 8,980 or 71 if you're moving on. The Yeti-like Wampa captures Luke at the start, while the space log tries to chomp on the Millennium Falcon, but missed. Q. 11. We're going to keep on going and going till we find the Star Wars squad tonight. 100 of you or fewer. Here we go with Q11. According to the chronological order of the Star Wars story, which of these movies comes first? The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, The Force Awakens. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? What do you think? Sure sounds like the beginning, but The Force Awakens takes place way after the others. Whoopsie number one. Yeah, it was the Phantom Menace, and that was a menace to society. It really was 9,221 of you choosing the menacing answer there. Released in 1991, episode one kicks off the franchise in style. Terrible style, but style nonetheless. Q12, not the last question tonight. Before opting for puppetry and animatronics, which of these did George Lucas screen test to play Yoda? A chihuahua, a monkey, a 10-year-old boy? Do or do not, there is 
No try. Wise words of Master Yoda. He's the most quotable character in the galaxy, but who was Yoda almost played by doing exactly what it sees? A monkey. It was monkey see, monkey do, right? 5,941 of you aren't monkeying around here. Lucas settled for the puppet Yoda we all know and love, saving all his bad decisions for the prequels instead. Q13, is this your lucky number? Let's find out. Members of which music act filmed cameo scenes for Attack of the Clones, Aerosmith, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. Yeah, speaking of bad decisions, this was one of them. They may have ended up on the cutting room floor, but which band got to be Jedi Knights for a day? Timberlake and Chums, can you believe? It was in sync. Are you out of sync or in sync on this one? 4,161 of you are totally in sync with the game. Lucas's daughter loved them, but I guess Daddy was less impressed with her lightsaber skills, thankfully enough. Q14 and your last chance to use extra lives if you get this wrong. Here we go. In The Force Awakens, which planet is capital of the New Republic, Chandrilla? Hosnian Prime, Nicardia. The New Republic up against the First Order. The capital is passed between the three of them, actually, but who was holding the hot potato during Star Wars 7? The brother of Optimus. Hosnian Prime is the answer we were looking for here. 3,843 of you in a prime position right now. It won't be the capital again for quite some time, though, after being thoroughly Alderaand, like some of you were just now. If you were, use your extra lives, because they're rendered useless as we move into Q15. Rogue One does not feature which of these? Opening crawl text, a lightsaber, R2-D2. Going rogue, this movie did. And the best new ones, too. K2SO may have been the droid daddy, but that didn't stop R2 from having a cameo, throwing us straight into the action. There was no opening crawl text on this one, but you are crawling onto the next round anyway. 2,320 of you. That was another brutal right there. No sausages yet. Rogue One was the first film to skip the iconic intro, living up to its name in that respect, at least. Q16. Which member of the British royal family had a girlfriend who was cast in A New Hope? Prince Edward, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew. And no, she didn't play Princess Leia. She wasn't cast as Leia. That was, of course, the wonderful Carrie Fisher. With a name like Kustark, she was born to be in Star Wars. But which of these royals did she date in the 80s? The grand old Duke of York, Prince Andrew, was our honey for a little while. 1,243 of you nailed that one. You're very hopeful there. Ku traveled to Tunisia to play one of Luke Skywalker's mates, but ended up on the cutting room floor, along with in sync. Obviously, 16 questions correct so far. Can you make it 17? Who is the first person Han kisses in Solo, a Star Wars story? L337, Lady Proxima, Kira. Gave him a right old lip sync. Han did. He's quiet, the Lothario, but even Han would not snog a massive worm, not in public anyway. The Khaleesi of Corellia. It was Kira who he snogs. Remember that? It was quite romantic. 973 of you kissing goodbye to that question. The lovebirds rekindled their romance in the back of the Falcon, something I doubt Lando was too pleased about. Q18, we're going to keep going and going. Here we go. Which of these fought under the call sign Red Six in A New Hope? Luke Skywalker, Biggs, Dark Lighter, Jack Porkins. Red Six standing by. HQT's standing by. They all flew in Red Squadron. Remember, but who answered to Red Six, the portly pilot with a matching name? It's Jack Porkins, that's who some of you telling Porky's here. Oh my goodness, our first savage of the game. That was pretty sausage, wasn't it? 800 of you gone, 175 of you moving forward, flying forward. Now, he only appears on screen for a couple of seconds, but Porkins has become a fan favorite, spawning memes, toys, and even a Lego figure. Go figure. All right, you're going to be part of the Star Wars squad tonight. We're looking for the Hot 100 as we move into Q19. According to The Hollywood Reporter, who encouraged Mark Hamill to audition for Luke Skywalker, Robert Redford, Robert Duvall, or Robert England? Star Wars would not have been Star Wars without Mark Hamill, that's for sure. 
He went from babyface farmer to bitter old quitter, but who pushed Hamill into the role of his life, taking a break from killing dreams? It was Robert England. Some of you can rub at that one in, that's for sure. 84 of you nailed it, well done. Freddy Krueger as Han Solo. I am guessing Mark's audition went a little better. Moving on to Q20. Oh, we have 84 winners. 84 winners, my lovely. <laughs> right there we got 84 winners well done to all of you you survived that last sausage question incredible ride you are taking home 11 pounds and 90p well done we've got teffel 87 we've got jenny fluff right there at croco boyo kitty beth 666 starman 42 you are certainly a star tonight what are you going to do with that 11 pounds and 90p you could stock up on jabber juice maybe take a ride on an at at walker get a princess layer outfit like this one my goodness that was such a great ride 84 of you totally nailed it you had me out there in space that's for sure the force was most definitely with you hqts the star wars squad you defeated the evil empire and restored peace to the galaxy. Well done to you. I'm Princess Shazza Organa. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Let me know what you thought of the game. We will be back tomorrow, of course, with 12 rounds of epic trivia and 1,000 pounds to give away. Until then, have a great rest of the night and just remember, I am your mother.